everyone, today we shall be considering mathematical induction. By the way, this is Gifted Brain, aka Saizu, first in Africa, sixth in the world. And so, mathematical induction is one of the methods used in mathematics to prove that a mathematical equation is either correct or that it is not uh, correct. The other method in mathematics, the other method used to prove if a, an equation is correct or not, uh, mathematical induction happens to be one of those methods. And there are steps in using this mathematical induction. The first step is to select n be equal to 1. And when n equal to 1, your left hand side should give you your right hand side. If that happens, you can move to the step 2. If the step 1, the right hand side does not give the left hand side, don't bother moving to step 2. Just write. It cannot be proved by mathematical induction. And so, if step 1, a right hand side gives the uh, uh, left hand side, you move to step number 2, which is let n be equal to k. And after which, you move to uh, step number 3, let n be equal to k plus 1. And then, in the step number 3, you also see if your right hand side is giving you, you must work it till your right hand side give you your left hand side. And then you write, you say it, is, it has been proved. And so we'll take example so that we can buttress our point. Let's take example number one now. Okay. Prove by induction, that is example one now, that summation of R from R equal to 1 to N is equal to N into bracket N plus 1 all over 2. Okay. So this is the question now. So the first thing we try to do, or uh, first thing I will always do, if I see my question is sigma form, I try to put it in, in the explaining what the sigma is. It's easier that way. So I will leave this question in, in another form. Now, see the form it, it can be. The question says sigma r, right? Summation of r, starting from r equal to 1. So I will write r equal to 1. Then I progressionally move from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, because summation of r, on and on. So you move like that till n. That's what, that's, that's what this side of the question actually means. This is how to write it. And that is equal to, equal to n into n plus 1 over 2. Some question gives you this question in this form directly. Why sum gives you in this form? If it's given in this form, try to express it in this second form before you start uh, solving. And so, after, now, by the time we are done expressing this form now, let's take our steps now. Remember, that the first step is to say, let n be equal to 1. Let n be equal to 1. If n is equal to 1, what's my right-hand side? The only thing in my right-hand side will just be 1. Starting with 1, nothing again. And then on my left hand side, sorry, on my left hand side, what should be there is one, yes. But on my right hand side now, what I will have is substitute one for the anyway I see n. Right, one into one plus one over two. I mean substitute one into this equation now. Into this equation. So I've done that now. If you do that accurately, you get one into two over two, which would give you one. So you can see that your left hand side is same as what you have on the right hand side one one so after after that you have to move to step number two for your step number two all you just need to do all you just need to do is to equate to say let n let n be equal to k and then you go back you see the question will change it means that you will have one plus two plus three plus dot 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 till we get to k and it will be equal to also anywhere i see n i put k that will be k into k plus one over k plus one sorry yes over two and so this is what we would have and so the final step will now be final step will be let n be equal to k let sorry let n be equal to k plus one not k n be equal to k plus 1. And so, what we just simply do is to now say we have, you know, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot, 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 k. But we're not about k now. I'm moving to k plus 1. So, that's what it means. Uh -huh, k plus 1. So, that's it. And so, it will be equal to also 
on my right hand side obviously anywhere i have uh, n before i subdued k plus one so you know formally we have n into n plus one over two so anyway i see that you subdue with k plus one so anyway i see n that will k plus one i want to show you that you you'll be able to we'll be able to follow together you know obviously from here we have n into n plus one anyway i see the n i subdue k plus one into it so i have my first n i subdue k plus one into it and then here i have in bracket over here i have in bracket n plus one so it will be anyway i see the n first of all i change to k plus one this is the n then plus one all over two so at the end of the day you see that this right hand side will give us somewhat like k plus one and then k plus one plus one will give me k plus two over two over two so this is what the right hand side gives to us so the point now is can we make our left hand side give us what the right hand side has given eh? well very very simple recall that everything from here everything from here to this point k actually give us k into bracket k plus one over two in this step two in this step two that what this part gave to us and now we've just added k plus one and so let's try to simplify and see if we can have the same thing just do this over one and then find their lcm the lcm obviously the lcm will be two two into two will give me one then multiply by numerator that will give me k into k plus one plus one into two give me two multiply by k plus one that is two into k plus one and here we can factorize as we see that in both brackets here and here something is common k plus one factorize the common thing if i factorize k plus one out what will be left on this part is k just the k and what will be left on this other second part is the two plus two so write that plus two i'm done factorizing then all over two by the time I'm done now, you can see that I have been able to make my left hand side being equal to the right hand side. My left hand side now, which is k plus 1 into k plus 2 over 2. And it's what I also got in my left hand side, in my right hand side. So I can say proved, proved, proved. So that's just all. We take example 2 now. Example 2.